The bare roots you can get at the store. This one was one. Here is our self-fertile cherry tree. Way more buds than we had last year. We've had all kinds of comments about our self-fertile kiwi vines. I never have proper trellising for the cherry tomatoes. This year I made sure to be ready, <laughs> ready for it. This is our green stock. It's full of herbs. Cucumbers, I like to sow seeds of three together. That seems to work out pretty good. It's May 31st, 2023, and let's do a garden tour. We live in Connecticut, and this is what most of our garden looks like. We do have apple trees in the front part of our property, a cherry tree, another cherry tree that I just got for Mother's Day, and a couple pear trees up there. But we'll go through really quick and take a look at what we have here. It was Memorial Day weekend. We planted out a whole bunch of different things out here. So I'll just quickly go through and show you what we have. These are our Imperator carrots, Black Beauty zucchini. There's cinnamon all around it because the ants, it's just a quick deterrent and something easy for me to grab. <laughs> Once I put that on there, the ants seem to leave it alone. I don't know if it really works or not. It just seems to, so that's what I do. The Green Machine zucchini. None of the seeds I sowed out here in the garden took. All eaten by ants. I had two more seeds left of this F1 zucchini and I started them in the greenhouse and I have another one more plant in there. A golden zucchini, cocozel zucchini, the gray didn't take so I have I have more seeds started in the greenhouse for our squash and zucchini and then we have some a couple tomatoes in here, different peppers, we have a pumpkin spice jalapeno, leja, lilac bell pepper, poblano, canary bell pepper and craig's grande jalapeno that is a triple l crop tomato and over here is a subarctic plenty i've got some more carrots in containers these are the dulcinea carrots and then these ones are the ones from the dollar tree the red cord chantonay whole bunch of potatoes nothing in those yet here's how our garlic is looking i just fertilized these with a liquid soluble fertilizer tonight i hadn't done my second round of fertilizer yet so i just did that tonight some shallots onions, cucumber bud. These are the market more cucumbers from the Dollar Tree. Mexican sour gherkin, Chicago pickling, silver slicer, Boston pickling, homemade pickles from Hudson Valley Seed Company, New York slicing 264 from Fruition Seeds, and the green 18 F1 cucumber from High Mowing. Cucumbers, I like to sow seeds of three together. That seems to work out pretty good. I'll trellis one or two of them, and then the other one I'll trail along the ground. It was my best year for cucumbers last year, so hopefully that works out again. More potatoes. These are white strawberries that taste like pineapple. So I got some bare roots of that. I did video starting these. I'm behind on editing videos. I'll hopefully get that video up soon. This is the hot pepper bed. We have jalapenos, poblanos, Craig's Grande jalapeno, and pumpkin spice jalapenos in the front. This is our bell pepper bed or sweet pepper bed. We have Ozark Giant, Sunbright, King of the North, Lilac Bell, Canary Bell, Purple Beauty, and California Wonder. My friend Manda Moo said she was growing some lemon thyme and I wanted some of that. So <laughs> when we were at Home Depot one day, Steve found me a plant and I transplanted this in here like a month ago and it's doing pretty good. The Royal Burgundy Bean, Cauliflower, cabbage, Adirondack red and Adirondack blue potatoes, some broccoli and more cauliflower, a Tabasco plant I wanna transplant, Tom Thumb peas from Baker Creek, provider bushing bean, habanero pepper plant that's struggling every year. Every year this happens to me with these. Serrano chili from the Dollar Tree, the top crop garden bean, my teddy bear sunflowers, another cabbage, a dying, diamond eggplant. <laughs> this is my second one I've put in here. I don't know why they're just collapsing. I have a couple more in the greenhouse and I am going to baby them along. Maybe get them a little bit bigger before I transplant them out here. There's Black Beauty and Rosita eggplant. This is our green stock. It's full of herbs. Some I started from seed in here like this one and other ones I started indoors. And then I also have spinach and arugula growing. I just watered it, which is why they're kind of all droopy. Got bush pickling cucumbers, lots of dill. I had a dill shortage last year when I had all those cucumbers and I did not have enough dill to can up pickles. So I have dill everywhere. This is the Blue Lake 274 bushing garden bean from Dollar Tree. Here's the top crop garden bean. These are doing really good in here. 
so far. Much better than the ones I direct sewed in the raised beds or in the other containers. Got some cumin and lemon balm. And here we have some more bushing beans that look like they needed fertilizer, so I made sure to fertilize those today. The honey drop cherry tomato, black cherry tomato, the pink bumblebee. These are our radishes that are ready to be picked. I'll probably do that tomorrow because we've already had dinner. I'll pick them fresh tomorrow and put them on salad, maybe using this lettuce. These are lettuce from the Dollar Tree. The ones on the outside are not. The ones on the outside are winter density lettuce. And we put up this shade cloth here i've got some tomato plants in here that one is a rosella tomato and this one is sunrise bumblebee and this year i have them trellised with inverted tomato cages that i have staked down and then connected at the top so one is going that way and the other is going that way so they're kind of reversed here did the same thing with this bed I never have proper trellising for the cherry tomatoes because they're always an afterthought. This year I made sure to be ready, <laughs> ready for it. Over here I have some interesting trellising too. I have two inverted tomato cages and then these leftover bamboo stakes from previous years. And then this bed is all San Marzano tomatoes. We've got a bunch of different herbs, all kinds of tomatoes in here, which I will go through later on, especially when we harvest them. I got some more kale here. These are some more Tom Thumb peas. And look at these, aren't these pretty? These were such old seeds too. Um, these are the green beauty peas from Baker Creek that I started on March 24th. And the flowers are so pretty. I only had a few of those left. So this year I'm really gonna, one of the things I wanted to do was save as many of my own seeds as I can. These will be one of the ones that I save. I've got some more provider beans in the front. This is the Alaska peas from the Dollar Tree. And right next to it is the green arrow peas from Fairy Morse. Then there's some more in the back. I have these small tomato cages in here. This is my, I think, I don't think I've done this before. I just put a bunch of these really small tomato cages, the smallest ones you can find. I just stuck them in there and the peas are really climbing it well, but there are aphids on them. I don't really do much about the aphids. It doesn't seem to prevent the production of peas much. If I see them, I'll blast them off with water. If one leaf is loaded with it, I might throw it to the chickens or something like that. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Maybe I did. I'm sure I'll cover it later at some point. <laughs> Here's what our blueberries are looking like right now. That's dinosaur kale. In Jacob's garden. That's my new cherry tree that I got for Mother's Day. Miranda's garden. This is a dwarf kale. Let's go on the outside really quick. Here are our kiwi vines. I just did a really short video on these. It's in our YouTube shorts. I will be doing a full video on these when they bloom. You can see all the buds on here. This is way more buds than we had last year. We've had all kinds of comments about our self-fertile kiwi vines and I can't wait <laughs> to give an update and address some of the commentary we've received. Our pear trees are up there. I had Steve check them out the other day and he said he didn't really see any pears growing. So we'll see what happens with that. And then these are our strawberries. We've been harvesting strawberries in here. The first ones we harvested were kind of wonky looking, but these ones are starting to look a lot better. Look at these. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I have a shirt full of them. This is our flower bed. These are cat's pajamas from Proven Winners and a bleeding heart plant. And this one is another Proven Winners plant. The color is lemon meringue, it's so pretty. I try and leave the tags with it, but that's what that is. Bee balm. All different kinds of sunflowers in here. The only ones that have really popped up are the mammoth sunflowers from the Dollar Tree. And I have a new one here that I've never grown before called Tiger's Eye. And those look really cool. So one of those popped up. This is what our greenhouse is looking like. All kinds of things, including sweet potato slips. <laughs> I've got to get those in the ground this week. More plants out here. This is our asparagus and we had just transplanted some starts that we had gotten at a local nursery in here along with the ones that we started from seed last year. 
I've got purple potted pole beans on this side. And these ones are the homegrown pole beans. These were seeds that I had grown from 2021. And then I have other flowers started for my friend Manda Moose Pop Boris, who she just lost. We started some seeds for him the other day. Uh, we have zinnias and cosmos and more zinnias over here and pico tea cosmos over here. And then these are our raspberries and blackberries that are taking off. They're really popping up all over the place. Those are dragon tongue bush beans, a Jacob's cattle bean, and then one of these had popped up, but it looks like it got taken. And then those ones didn't pop up. Here is our self-fertile cherry tree. It is a Stella cherry tree and there are cherries all over it. But hopefully next year we'll do a little bit better with the other cherry tree we just bought. Here is what our grapes are looking like. There are little buds all over the place. So I'll probably be putting the netting that I put over them last year. I'll be putting those on top of them again this year. Some of these were transplanted, like the bare roots you can get at the store. This one was one, and that's what it looks like now. I did that two, I think two years ago, and there's another one over here. And then the other ones didn't really take, and then the other grapevines that are in here were grapes that were already here on the property that we trellised up. We no longer have the blueberries there. And here are our apple trees. I'm not gonna show them all. I'll just show some of them. This is the Granny Smith and a Cortland. Some apples growing on them. There's a couple right there. I felt like there were more than that. I'll have to ask Steve if he remembers. Here are some of the strawberry runners that I've caught and transplanted. But that is how our garden is looking now. And I would imagine in about a month or so, it's gonna look quite different. Just leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.